this round. Each station is done for one minute, as many repetitions as it can for a minute. First station is Spider-Man push-ups. Your feet are going to be on the dummy. Be up front. As you go down towards the ground, the knee's going to come up towards you. Right. Good. 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 Time. Second station is plyometric push-ups. That's a hard explosive, you know, simulating a, 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 a quick reaction with your hands and if you go back down to the center, it, it simulates uh, you pushing away somebody. Third one is mounted punches. Fourth station is the tire push. And the fifth station is the hand switch. All these exercises, you're using the same muscles, so by the time you get to the next exercise, it's like your muscles are just drained and it's gonna be a long five rounds, and that's how a fight is. Round two. Second round is the pulling exercises. Uh, works on increasing the muscle endurance and pulling muscles. First station, he does recline pull-ups. Second station is a body weight pull-up with a climbing rope. Nice. And that's 270 plus pounds that he's pulling up off the ground. And his feet are elevated, so his body's actually declined. And he pulls it all the way up past parallel up to an incline position. Uh, third station, he's back to the tire doing more pushes and he's pulling it towards him. station is a jump pull-up station. And the jumping pull-ups, by that point, um, I kind of hit a wall. I was coming around the, the, the bend there. And the fifth station is, does a uh, heavy bag tour. On every exercise, I try to get one more. I try to do one more, you know, always pushing my body. Let's do one more, you know. But that's an 80-pound heavy bag that he's actually picking up, spinning in the air and catching it, and then spinning it back the other way. Round three is a cardiovascular endurance round. First station is an Airdyne bike. We try to keep the RPMs above 70 RPMs for a minute. On the Airdyne, you're pushing and pulling and using your legs. After the minute, it's a quick transition to the upper body ergometer or the UDE. The UDE machine, or it just simulates, you know, pummeling and punching, and, and it's solely your arms. That thing sucks. And then the third station is the incline train. On the incline uh, treadmill, it's solely your legs, and you're, you know, you're running up this hill as fast as you can. It's like running up one of the steepest hills you've ever uh, run up in your life. That's what it feels like. Nice job. We'll see. You stand up the whole time. Next station, he's on the wind sprint bike, which is a uh, an adjustable resistance bike. We put him on the highest resistance, make him stand the whole time, and continue to burn out the legs. Last station in the third round is another Airdyne bike. After doing the four stations before that, I still try to get him to keep the RPMs above 70. Time. Round four is more of a hybrid strength round. First station is the jammer machine. Second station that he did was uh, the sledgehammer, uh, the one-arm sledgehammer. You're swinging the, the, the 16-pound hammer around with one hand and, and uh, you know, utilizing your shoulder, your hips. You have to control it, otherwise the thing will come up and knock you right in the head. <laughs> nice job, we're on the bear crawls. Third station was uh, a bear crawl station. The only ones I really despise is the bear crawl. It's like a nightmare. If I had to put down on paper how many miles I've, I've bear crawled in my entire life, I'd, it would probably be a good 100 miles. These guys sweat more than any of you guys have ever seen. Fourth station, he did, he did the medicine ball sprawls. I don't like that one either. I don't like any of them, but I, that's probably what motivates me to, to, to try to do another one. Because I ain't going to let the machine or the exercise beat me. And the fifth station was a transition station. Fifth round is the most intense round. We've got five different stations, same stations as the third round, but the difference is, is I make the resistance heavier and I make him work harder. And there's no rest. He goes from one station to the next, to the next, to the next, for the full five minutes without really getting a break or getting a chance to catch his breath. I don't enjoy any one of those exercises, I mean, but I do, I know that I have to do them because though going through that process is gonna put me above my opponent, I know. That was a good one.
Boys turn it around. That was wild. For 265 pounds, that man can move. Now we know Brock is highly conditioned. When we return, we're going to see him work on his technique. Don't go anywhere. This is UFC All Access champion we all know Brock Lesnar can wrestle but the real question is does he have what it takes to be a mixed martial artist we're here at the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy where his trainers Marty and Greg are going to take him through his MMA workout but generally, uh, my part is putting together the whole mixed martial arts aspect of his fight. He's coming in from a wrestling background. What I do is I'm plugging in over this last year, year and a half, the boxing, the submissions, you know, tying it all together. Just one, two, three, hit. One knee, grab. One, two, bring it up. One thing about Brock Lesnar is he's mentally tough. When we put him through training, when we put him through the physical workouts, the two and three day workouts, you don't ever see him win. You don't ever see him come up and say, oh, I've had enough, I'm done. What are you guys doing over now? Uh, we're kind of finishing up the workout for today. We're going to finish off with uh, leg kicks, working his leg kick drill, and finally uh, ending with the ground and pound on the back. I push myself to where I am. I don't know if I've got anything left. I definitely feel that he's he's ready to go out there and, and really uh, show that he's one of the you know, potentially top heavyweights out there right now. Hopefully I uh, get to utilize these a little bit. I just I'm having trouble getting into these double X's. I, I picked up a pair of uh, double X U, uh, UFC gloves and I have trouble getting my hands in them. So I asked for, for triple X. And uh, I, I believe that they're going to make some. I hope so. My whole philosophy on, uh, on nutrition and weight training and, and uh, all those things, for me, I sweat profusely. I mean, it, it, when I start working out, I'll drop anywhere between 8 to 12 pounds. When we're in our hardest training cycles, Brock's going to have a harder time trying to keep his weight on than he would trying to gain weight. So I'm eating calories. I'm eating a lot of calories. I don't have to cut weight to make 265 now. It's high protein, high calories. I drink a gallon of water a day with electrolytes in it, and, and let's, let's get it back in the body so uh, I can get uh, replenished and, and uh, feel, start feeling good for my next workout. Start to pick it up a little bit as you start to feel comfortable with it a little, a little quicker, just get the eyes ready. You just saw his technique and power, and when we return, Brock's going to show us his strength as we head to his personal gym, where he's going to pump some iron. When UFC All Access returns, I went from, you know, making a lot of money and, and uh, having a lot of things, but it's not all about having the nicest vehicle, you know. My wife digs it. I like that remote control antenna on it, you know. I got a remote control for it out here. People are surprised because they've seen what I used to drive, and now I drive the Red Rocket, my little car. Pop in the luxury sedan. It ain't all about looking good. I don't care. We warmed up and um, we just grappled. We got five one minute goes of uh, grappling. And then we uh, finished up with, with some pummeling, some wide goes on our feet. The whole idea of it is to get in, get your work done, get out of the gym. I'm not gonna get in any better shape right now. Bam, bam. <laughs> Snowing as we speak, as you can see, and I've got to work out uh, in about 20 minutes. Before my workout, it started snowing today, and I uh, get in my tractor and plow the driveway out a little bit. You can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. Tonight's workout, get a blow in on the elliptical, get warmed up, and get a sweat going. <laughs> and then just come in the weight room and get a nice heavy uh, circuit lift in. It's a feel-good lift, but yet at the same time, I want to get something out of it too. Even though Brock weighs 265 pounds, he's got the strength of a man that weighs 400 pounds. That lift there is just, for me, it's more of a mental lift. This is what I've been doing my whole life, is working out and training, so that's a wrap for the week.
the first time I ever watched UFC, absolutely I was a fan of it, you know? I thought, I can do this. I've been training in mixed martial arts, you know, jiu-jitsu, boxing, Muay Thai, you know, all these things for a year and a half. He's been here before. He walks out there in his first fight, everyone keeps telling me, what well, about the pressure and all these things? It's like, Brock's been there before. He's competed. I put time, blood, sweat, tears into my workouts. Now, the lion's hungry. Feed me. Brock's just going out to put on a fight, and he's excited to do it. He thrives on this. It makes him happy, and not only is this exactly what he wants to be doing, I think it's going to be a, a long-lasting career for him. My number one goal is to be the best heavyweight in the UFC. I'm ready for Vegas, baby. Okay, are you, you're done now? That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. I know you're a private guy, and uh, this has been an honor, so thank you. Thank you very much for coming. All right, this is Brock Lesnar. I'm Rochelle Leah, and this has been UFC All Access. We'll see you next time. Is that where the gun